Good morning. This is the Life Motivation. We are the entrepreneurs from across the world that come in here each day to give you the love, the knowledge, the tips and tricks. Before we started this recording, we were talking about how each and every one of us that you see on the screen have shifted our life within just a year or two's time frame, and maybe just even a few months. We've been coming in here each day to give you all the love and the inspiration to move yourself in new directions, to fight those demons with the words that you give to yourself, to look in the mirror and say, I love you, to be able to know that you can go out into this world of reality and to have full control of everything that you do every day. Having the manifestations that you want, and we've all wanted it at that now time space reality, but yet we have learned to understand the unfolding is the journey part of fun. The happiness, the smiles, the joy, the excitement each day. To know that what we have coming for us is the excitement part. To be able to know that you have set a goal and then you have drawn it out, you planned it out, and then all of a sudden it's starting to unfold. You know, Miss Shannon, we want to give her kudos this morning because she has been working diligently on moving herself towards finding her a house in Tennessee. She lives in New York. She doesn't want to live in New York anymore. Her kids are grown and gone and doing their thing, so she now wants to move to where she is comfortable. So what does she start? Back a few months ago, she started drawing out the house, the layout, what she wanted, where she wanted it, size of rooms, all that. The property, she didn't know exactly where. She just knew in Tennessee, not too far from her family that she has there. Yesterday, she was able to put an offer on a home in Tennessee. So we want to give her kudos for that, for sure. Awesome work. Good job, you know, for that right there. The housewarming party is going to be awesome. You know, I can't wait to show up, you know. But what we're talking about here is she has enjoyed the unfolding of these months before this house actually is now manifesting. She has got a date on August 21st. She will be out of New York, her last day. So she is putting, setting dates and times to everything that she's doing, goals to what she was trying to accomplish within her life. That's what we're asking you to do as well. We want you to dream it. want you to put it on paper, make a plan, a goal to get towards that, set you a time limit, whether it's a 30 day, a year, three years from now, whatever it is to accomplish, depending on the size of the dream. Then I want you to have fun each and every day as you're moving forward or closer towards getting that that you're wanting, no matter what it is. But that power of that pen and writing out that goal and setting those plans, those are key parts right there that assisted her to have a better manifestation process to what she truly desired. Same thing with Julio. Julio has been wanting to build a business. He waited on the fence for two two years, but he had things that he had to take care of to get to where he needed to be to where he can move forward with something. So what did he do? He got up every day. He stayed diligent. He stayed dedicated. He stayed moving forward, kept the energy of happiness within his life, the positive energy of knowing that the outcome of what he's working on now will bring that that he is desiring. So he did. He desired. He built the business and is building an empire and is showing other people how to do it as well now. You know, so those were something that he worked diligently for for a long time. If you don't stay dedicated to something that you want, then you won't receive the results that you're looking for. If you're wanting to lose the weight at the gym, you know, just going for a few days a week is not going to actually accomplish what you need. You need to stay diligent to go week after week. You can't just go this one week and say, hey, I went last week. Oh, wait, football games on this week. Uh, Oh, no, can't go. You know, oh, no, NASCAR's on this week. Oh, can't go. Oh, no, the the college uh, basketball is on. I can't go. You made nothing but excuses and did not receive your results. And then you put blame on the gym for not, oh, well, the gym wasn't clean or the gym was packed. You put other excuses on something that you didn't accomplish. Get rid of the excuses. Because if you want to move forward with your life, there's no one else hampering but you. No one is stopping you but you if you're looking to go towards anything that you're wanting. But the biggest part that we want y'all to understand is have fun from the time that you dream it to the time that you manifest it. So you're sitting there with it in your hands and you're tasting it, testing it, and loving it. If you're not having fun each day when you wake up and not excited about today, then you need to roll back into bed right quick and say, you know what? I'm going to be excited for today. I'm going to have fun today. I'm not worried about what everybody else is thinking or saying or doing today. This is my life, my journey. What am I doing? It's going to make me a happy person. You're happy in your life, that's all we want. If you're happy with everything that you're doing, that's all we want. Period. Nothing else. As soon as my internet comes up, I'm gonna, I've got a little saying that I want to put out here to y'all. But this right here, guys, what we're doing, what we have to see the movement of the people that you see on this screen today, 
what they have done within their life within a short period of time to be able to wake up each day to have happiness within their life, to be able to have manifestation or affirmations pasted on their wall now so they can get up and as they're you know, rolling out of bed, they can read those power affirmations to themselves. Different words that we may all need to resonate with each morning. Shannon does a live morning affirmation for us and she does them within here for us also and we want to thank her for that. Julio has some power words that he will throw out to y'all here in a moment because he comes from the heart and he comes from his soul and he comes from his every breath that God gives him every morning. Same thing with me. Every breath that I take, I am thankful for. I'm going to read this out right quick and then I'm going to pass it on to Julio. When we wake in the morning, it is our eyes that open. That It is our breath that breathe, fills our lungs. The heart that flows the blood through our body is ours. The thoughts, the dreams are also ours. Believe in us. Most journeys in life are brand new to us every day. Enjoy the ride in the unfolding of the dreams. You want to learn something new? Go for it. You want to build a business? Go for it. You want to travel? Go for it. Life is your design. Know it, feel it, and rock it out the best version of you every day. Simple, easy. You're rocking out your best version. You're living your life knowing that it is your breath that you're taking. It is your blood that's flowing. It is your dreams that is bringing your desires to fruition. Enjoy the unfolding. That is all. It's a good day to have a good day. Go ahead, Brother Julio. I love the fact that we operate in positivity. You know, um, I, I, for the most part, guys, I, I, I've never been um, a negative person, but there was times when negativity, there's a, there's a uh, ambulance passing through, it might get a little loud, but there, you know, we, we operate from in negativity from time to time. And that is the full, that's the thing that shoots us in the foot. If you consider yourself to be a positive person, that's great. So like myself, like I, you know, I, I've always been a teddy bear since, since I was a child, man, I've always been a sweetheart and I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. You know, people could tell me I've never been an aggressive person. Um, you know, I, I've always been a person of peace, very loving, very caring, very passionate, you know, so I've operated, you know, in regardless of what my circumstances, well, I've always have a, had a humble approach, but the negativity used to shoot me in the foot, you know, from time to time. And, and it wasn't, I wasn't practicing a lot of the things that we speak of, you know, um, but I, I didn't never considered myself to be a negative person, you know, but every time that I practice aspects of negativity, I was shooting myself in the foot and slowing myself down, slowing my own progress down, you know, and, and that's what negativity does for us. You know, it, it hinders us. It, 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 with, it withholds the blessings, you know, from your life. It withholds the desires that are in your heart. You know, it withholds the, the greatness that life has to offer. Um, I mean, some, some people believe, you know, I, I always like to, to resort back to the good book. You know, um, there's a story where, um, you know, the people of Israel had been freed and they had been delivered from slavery and so forth. And through the desert and God is taking them through this journey and taking them to the quote unquote promised land, you know, and they started grumbling and they started murmuring, hey, we have nothing to drink. So boom, God made some water come out of a rock out of nowhere. <laughs> if that ain't miracle enough, I don't know what is. After that, the people still grumbled, said, hey, water out of a rock, that's not good enough. We want food, too. So he had manna fall. <laughs> he had uh, uh, what is it? something like quail, I guess, duck was falling from the earth. <laughs> you know, so they had something to drink. They had something to eat. Then they go, oh, it's too much cloud cover. So boom, okay. You know, then, then uh, too much, uh, rather, it's too hot. So God brought about, about a cloud to give them some covering, you know, so they weren't hot while they're walking through the desert, you know, and, and it's like, we all know those people that they complain during winter. And then when it's nice and beautiful in the summertime, they complain that it's hot. <laughs> Come on. We, we all know these people. It, it is. I think part of that is in our nature to complain, but what will you will yourself to do? What will you will yourself 
you know, to to accomplish, you know, to obtain. You have to get out of that grumbling, out of that mumbling, out of that negativity, out of that complaint, out of that spirit of negativity, because you're you're withholding everything that this life has to offer. It's like it, it, you're stopping your own blessings by operating in negativity and not in positivity, not in the love that life has to offer, not in the fruitfulness and the abundance, you know, and the wealth. You know, the, the reality of it is success, guys, and any form of success, I don't care who you are, there, there's an abundance of it. It's, it's almost, I like Jim Rohn because he, he, he equates it to, to the sea. You know, a lot of people, they go and let's pretend that water is our blessing. And it is. It's kind of funny. Um, but <laughs> let's pretend for a second that water is our blessing. Do you go to the ocean with a spoon? Do you go to the ocean with a bucket? Do you go to the ocean with a cup? What do you go to obtain your blessing with? You know? And the matter that you expect, the matter that you practice, the matter that you go and you approach, you know, that's what you're going to obtain. So if you're practicing negativity, you're going to obtain negativity. You know, you're not going to receive the full blessing. Or you might, because you're operating in negativity, then you might feel as if you only deserve a spoon of blessing instead of an abundance of, of, of blessing or buckets worth, you know, pails full of blessings. You go with a spoon. Like, I'm just going to take a little blessing at a time because this is all I deserve. Is that what life has told you? Or is that a lie that you receive somewhere along the line of the cycle, you know, in your life? Is that some lie that you decided to adopt as your own? You know, some form of negativity, some limited thinking, you know, some lack that somebody else had say, hey, I'm going to push this lack onto you, ma'am, sir, whoever you are. A story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. You want to add something? Yeah, a story. A story that we keep telling ourselves over and over. You know, you keep telling yourself the same story, you're going to get the same outcome. You know, you want a different story, then write a different chapter. That's the truth. So, every, you know, and, and, and it's it's about putting, like, I, that's why I said, what will you will yourself to do? So we put certain things into practice on a daily basis, and that's how we gain ground. That's why, how we obtain uh, where we're at. And it's not, we can give ourselves pat on the back, and that's great. But it takes something more than that. It takes something more than that. And you have to, it takes dedication. You know, it, it takes that will. It takes desire. So you could say, hey, I want, 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 I want this, I want that, blah, blah, blah. doesn't matter. It, it, you could want all of these things, but if you're not putting the daily habits, the daily routines, the daily practices into play, you're operating in negativity. You're operating in lack. You're operating in limitations. You're going to the pool of a, a blessing with a little spoon. This is all I deserve for the day. This is my portion. When your cup is supposed to be running over, your cup should be full all the time. Plain and that, that's how that's how that's how you were made to, to be. That's why you made it here. That's why you're ex you existed. That's part of the reason why you're made to to enjoy the life that we have, the, the abundance that every that life this life has to offer. Not sit in depression, not sit in negativity, not sit in lack, not sit in, you know, that woe is me mentality. That's right. You know, but operating in something greater than yourself, man. You know, what, something I, I, I love. I love our community because we serve a selfless community, a community that we are dead set and focused on, whether it be our mornings, our middays. Our afternoons, our evenings, our trainings, or whatever is offered, we rise by lifting others up because it's not about me. It's about you, person. We want to see you succeed. You know, but you how do you get there? Well, the person has to first work on themselves. Look That's how me. you get there. You know, we, we want everybody to succeed. Will everybody succeed? No. That's the answer. No. It, it, it's a sad fact. Why? Because people are operating in that negativity, you know? People are operating in, in lack. And, and it's like, 
for example, it, 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 you know, now I'm going to paraphrase. I got this from, from T.D. Jakes, man, you know, and, and he, um, I mean, you know, some of his stuff, some of his content is just, it, it, it's wild, you know, um, whether it's spirit given or, or, you know, most likely, of course, but whatever the case is, he, he, he says, you know, like people have been operating in negativity so long that they think it's normal. You know, they think it's normal. They think that that's how they're supposed to be because that's how their father operated. That's how their father's father's father operated. You know, they've only been doing enough in this life in order to survive and just to get by instead of doing what it takes in order to thrive, you know, in order to 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 supersede, you know, anything that, that we, we could ever even fathom and think of, you know. Now, Thomas, you didn't know I was going to ask you this question. Ten years ago, did you see yourself where you're at right now? Seven years ago, did you see yourself where you're at right now? He, he mentions it, hey, five years ago, four years ago, whatever. I've only been doing this for X amount of years. But he talks, he, you've heard, you guys have heard this guy's testimony. You've heard his story, you know? He, he had to come to that point where he lifted his hands and he said, hey, you want this to work? Because that's my heart. That's my desire. I'm overwhelmed with life. I'm overwhelmed with all of these things. And I want something greater. I want to search after something more. And then boom, he lifted up his hands and he says, I'm going to operate and I'm going to decide to operate differently. I'm going to decide to operate in the flow. I'm going to decide to operate in positivity. I'm going to begin to put new things into practices in my daily habits. And then bam, don't get me wrong. It didn't happen overnight. He was on his own journey, but look where he's at right now. And this is, this is the impact of one person. This is the impact of one freaking person, guys. So can you imagine if, if, if each and every one of us decided, you know, that enough was enough, you know, we're not going to operate the way that, you know, people have in the past or the way your daddy did or the way that your mama did, you know, but we're, we're going to operate in something greater than ourselves, not just for us, but to lift somebody else up, to free somebody else, to help somebody else and get them out of their situation, you know? There's an abundance of wealth, whether it be financial or other, in this world, on this earth, in our lifetime. So stop saying that you can or you won't have or all of these things, because that is a mentality and that is a perspective that is keeping you exactly where you're at. That is that murmuring and that complaining and that grumbling that I was referencing. You know how that story ended, that biblical story, guys? So two. Two and their households or their families or you know their flock or their cattle or their who two out of the masses were able to enter into the promised land based off of their belief because those were the only two that came back with a great report and that was Caleb and Joshua. They got to a place where that was it was the quote unquote promised land. And God sent a couple of spies to hey go ahead, go check that out. God knew what was already there, but the man needed to know what was there, so he sent them. Only two came back with a positive report and everybody else came back scared. Everybody said they're big and they're strong and they're giants. You know, there's a giant in your life and he's been kicking your ass for years. But you gave him the power. You gave him the authority, people. Take that authority and take that power back because then nobody has power over you. Not one person has power over you. Not one thing has power over you. The enemy, the devil, people like to say the devil made me do it. No, all he could do is whisper in your ear and get he has the power of influence because he has no power and no authority over you person not one ounce not one speck of authority of power that he has over you everything that you feel like anybody has ever had over you guess what you surrendered you buckled you laid down but you don't have to operate in that man yeah. there's more of an abundance there's more of a blessing in this lifetime man you just have to will yourself to do it, man. And every single day, day in and day out, day in and day out. Well, you know, I didn't receive it today. Julio, it's okay. How did your day go? Well, I had a better day because I was trying to practice some of those things. Great. Do it again tomorrow. And the day after that, do it again and do it again and do it again. And I promise you, you'll begin to see a, a, a wave. I promise you, you begin to see a flow of change. You begin to see growth within yourself, within people who are around you, within the, your circles, your I mean, your communities, your family, your children, they're going to notice something is different in your heart. Something is different within your soul. Something is different in your perspective. Something is different within within how you operate, you know, and they're going to go, wow, what, what is that? And then when you begin to see that, 
guess what, guys? The blindfolds will be removed. It's almost like a callus. You know what callus is, that hard, nasty skin that sometimes on your knuckles or, you know, on, on your feet or your bunions or whatever. That, a callus will be removed from your freaking eyes and you'll begin to see life from a new perspective. You know, gravitate towards that, guys. Gravitate towards positivity, man. It is so much more powerful than negativity, man. I don't, I don't know. I, I forgot what the specs on it. You know, I guess they did a, a, a scientific study or whatever. But I know for the fact that that it's a lot more powerful, man. You can. This is look. I, I'm gonna go right back to what I said in reference to Thomas, man. The impact of one person making a decision to change his life and change how he operates in his life. One person. One person. How many people are on this earth? How many? Ten. So can you imagine if can you imagine if twenty? Can you imagine if a hundred? Can you imagine if ten thousand people decided to make the same decision that Thomas made? The same decision that a lot of us in our community have made. That's right. Come on, the impact that we can have around the globe, freeing people from depression, from sickness. You know what I'm saying? From 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 operating in lack, from thinking that they that they that they can't have. You know, from thinking that 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 you know uh, uh, that woe is me or depression or or sickness or whatever they're going through, like you know that that's life. That's all life has to offer. No, man. There's so much more. There's so much more, man. Gravitate towards the more. Operate in abundance. Operate in positivity. Because that flow, that is endless flow right there, man. Endless. Love you guys. Powerful right there. You know, because that's what we're all doing. We're all making a different move for us, within us. And like you said, once you do it within you, everyone else will start feeling it, understanding it, wanting to know how they can have it. That's what we all want for everyone, is to have this same energy of a vibration of something different that you've never had within your life. And all you did was make a few changes within you, a few changes within your thought process. That's it. It's very simple. And it is a daily practice. Yes, it is very easy to go back to the negative thought process. Why? Because like he said, you always got somebody whispering over in your ear right here telling you, oh, it's okay. It's all right. Go sit up with your feet. You don't need to go do that gym today. Yeah, go sit with that bag of chips and donuts and a cola. Go ahead. Go sit, you know, with that remote control. That demon is always going to be sitting right there. But just know you have the power to tell that demon to kick off, you know. Bye bye. I don't need you no more. I'm moving my life into a different direction. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. So enjoying our journey and of our life, the unfolding of what's coming, the knowing that the power is part of the power of positivity what we put in ourselves, the power that we put in the affirmations of our words that we give to ourselves, the power of our dreams that we give each day. That's your creativity side. That's yours. No one can take it. Go for it. No one will understand it. Who cares? Keep going for what you desire and keep moving your life and what makes you happy and what makes you tick. What brings that joy into your life? Go for it even more each day. Well, I like being at the beach. Well, good. Find a job at the beach. Go build a house on the beach. Go be by the beach even more. That's what makes you happy. Well, I like to be in the mountains in the woods. Cool. Figure out a way that you can make money to be in the mountains in the woods all day. I love it. Photography. It worked great for me. You know, I wanted something different within my life. I took my, my passion of photography and I made a business out of it. Hmm. Imagine that. The little things that you're already doing that brings joy into your life that you can turn around and create a business to show others how to do. And just, you know, that's it. Show other people how to do something different. And within that right there, they're starting to build and create more within their life. And like he said, if one can do it, imagine the next thousand that'll be around you. Imagine the next 10,000 that's going to be around me. Why do I see 10,000? Yes, I see those numbers because I see the bigger picture of what we are doing right here every morning. The messages that we get back just off of these morning motivations that we do right here. Knowing that the impact that me and Julio have each day and Shannon on people's lives across this world not just within our community anymore, because that's where it started. We had four people. Now this is streamed out live in many different locations. This is recorded and put out on YouTube. So this goes out to more people than we could ever even imagine each and every day. And the impact that we are having. 
Small beginnings, Thomas. That's it. Small beginnings of things that we stay diligent with each day to assist us to be better and to assist our team members and our clients. And then before you know it, it became public and other people wanted in and how can I, and I want to be part of this. And once they get in here, then they see the bigger picture of how, how do we stay so happy each day? How do we have this excitement? How can we be 46 years of age and sitting at home retired? You know, people are wondering what the heck do y'all have going on? What we did is we created a movement across this world to be able to show people how to build a business, how to be able to serve products and services to the world and how to get yourself into a happy state how to get your dreams and your passions, your, your desires to actually manifest. Because like he said, we've been blocking ourselves with that lack mindset for too long. We are awakening people across the world to the bigger vision of you, the bigger version of you. With that unlocking and that unfolding, like he said, it brings a whole nother vision that you never even thought was out there. That you could even think that was there. It's called a frequency that's on the other side right there and it's right there. So put that frequency to it. Put that energy of happiness frequency. Put that smile frequency. Put that love frequency. And let that start flowing from you each day. And it will just pour out of your pores. Be just flowing off of you like sweat. But it's a good flow. Because you're going to detox your body of the negativity. And you're going to influence it with nothing but hydration and love. And then that right there is going to shift your entire life into a whole different realm, a whole different direction. Enjoy the unfolding. Miss Shannon is going to wrap us up this morning with some affirmations and her happy energy from, you know, got a, she got one of her goals knocked out of what she's wanting to accomplish. That's the home. So that excitement right there, yes, it's unstoppable. And I love to see the smile on her face, seeing the things that are happening. And she's trying to be so humble about it, but I know she's a, like a little firecracker just wanting to explode right now with the energy and the excitement she has within her because that is one hellacious, you know, to move from New York to Tennessee, been manifesting it for six or eight months. And then now here it is beautiful. She wanted to walk away from Walmart. What did she do? She started a business and then she said, you know what? I'm not going to be a Walmart accountant no more. I'm going to take my business to the next level and I'm going to rock it out. So what did she do? She walked away. She started that business and hasn't looked back. Now here she goes to move to a new house. She just got back from two different cross country road trips in the vehicle. You know, did one with the flying then had to turn around and drive back because the flying just wasn't for them. The energy and the fun of traveling is more fun. Puts a smile on your face each day to see the new things that are unfolding out there in the world, to see the colors that are changing from the winter to the spring, from the spring to the fall, those travels right there. That's beautiful travels. So everybody in here, I want to make sure before I uh, forget it again, give yourself an attaboy. Give yourself a big thank you. Give yourself a big hooty hoo hug. Whatever it is that you have to do to say thank you to yourself today. Say thank you for everything that you're doing, the creativity side, the love, the friendship. Benita right now is all the way across country from Washington, and she's over in Virginia laying up with her two grandbabies right there. She's living her life. She's figuring out the things that she wants to do to move herself in those directions. It's those energies of excitement right there. It's that love right there that is moving this world around. Not the monetary stuff, not the material things. This love that we spread out in here in the morning, this happiness that we spread in here, this is what's moving the world. It's because when you find that love within you, you find the more creativity side that's within you. You connect with that creativity side again. And with that creativity and that love connection, then guess what? The things that you can bring out into this world, hey, <laughs> you never know who you could change, what you could change, how you can change it. Because these ideas that you all have, these creativity sides, is what has brought us to right here to this Zoom meeting this morning, to this free platform of Facebook that we play on every day, and Instagram and Twitter and other social media aspects. We want to thank them guys for having the love and the passion and dedication to be able to create this platform that we're on today. The big thank yous go all over the place, not just to what you have in your life, but everything that helps you re keep your life flowing every day. You know, the clothes on our back, that keeps you a power, makes you feel good, doesn't it? Powerful when you put on that nice shirt this morning. Ha ha, yes. You know, that good food that you got to eat this morning. Did you thank the farmer that raised it? Did you thank the guys that harvest it? 
Did you thank the truckers that brought it from point A to point B for you to have it out of that grocery store? Did you thank the grocery store for having the power to keep that, those groceries cool? Did you thank the electrical guys that put up the power poles and the, and the higher wires? Did you thank the guys that are running the satellite that's running this Zoom meeting right now? There's a lot of things that we need to be thankful for that we're not, and we need to. Think all the way back to what if you were out there in an outhouse and not in a bathroom in a house. Think all the way back to where you was walking around with a lantern and candles and no electricity. Think all the way back to the day that we had a phone that was connected with a wire on a wall and we couldn't walk more than two foot from the phone. We was controlled by that wire. Now look, we got a phone that is a computer system in our hands. Are y'all not saying thank you? Are y'all not giving gratitude for what we have and how we are able to shift people's lives? The words that we bring out here each morning, Jesus Christ walked this earth to be able to pass out messages. We're able to do it in a split second with a touch of a button now. Know that the power of these words that we bring in here with every morning is not something new. These are words that have been passed around for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years. It's the creation of love. Tap into it, guys. Tap into your own love that you have within you because it was your belief and your faith and your strength that made you to get here. Like Julio always says, we were maybe in about 40,000 or 400,000 sperm cells. You were the one that fought to get here. You were the one to be able to come here to create the different things that you're doing each and every day now. Enjoy this now time space reality because yesterday is gone. The future is coming. Don't dwell on it too much. Dream it, design it, move on and understand where you're at now. The rest will come. Have fun in the unfolding. The unfolding of you because we don't know what the next chapter holds until you start writing it. You write out those chapters in your life before it even happens and then sit back and laugh and, and probably even cry because of it, how it actually unfolded exactly the way you wrote it down. If you want to write out your next month, I promise you, you can write out your next month exactly what you want to happen, how many clients you want to talk to, how many people you want to get within a business, how much things that you want to change within your own business or life in general. Write it out and then watch it unfold because that is what you put on paper. That was the intentions that you gave to it because if you haven't dreamed it out and designed where you're truly going and what you're building in life or where you're going, you're willy nilly in it still. Yeah, the power of that pen means a lot. The power of you knowing exactly where you want to go. Is it all going might shift a little bit? Yes, but that power of you knowing where you want is going to put you where you want. I see the 500 acre retreat. It's there every day in my mind, fresh. I add a little bit something more to it. It's coming, I know, just like Shannon's house that she's been working on all this time. She's been working on it, designing it, laying it out, been going and checking out new properties, different houses, scrolling through, checking out different real estate agents and different stuff, all that. She drew out what she wanted. Now it's a better layout because she's going to be able to go in and do what she wants with this shell. She'll be able to go in and lay out exactly where she wants the swimming pool, the hot tub, the garage, all that stuff beautiful to be able to manifest and have the fun to do this. So we're wanting y'all to all have the same energy every single day. Keep it up because it is too easy to go to negative. Too easy. Yes. Does it take work to stay positive? Yes. Does it take stay work every day to stay diligent to all this? Yes. But guess what? I was staying diligent to somebody else's dreams, building their empire, showing up every day, punching that damn time clock. I did that for 26 years. Stay diligent to them all the time. Now guess who I'm staying diligent to? Myself. What I need to do, what's going to make me happy each day, what is going to bring my dreams, what's bringing my monetary funds in. You know what you need to do? Do it. Do what makes you happy. So Ms. Shannon, we'll let you wrap us up, baby. Morning, everybody. I am always manifesting abundance and prosperity into my life. My heart feels happy and free. I will think the thought until I believe it. And once I believe it, it is. Today, I receive my prosperity from both expected and unexpected sources. 
I am so grateful that all of my desires are manifesting in my life now. Today is an amazing day. Good things just keep happening. The one big word, one word out of all of that right there that should have grabbed all of y'all's attention. Belief. She believed within her and her higher powers. She believes within her dreams and her desires, and she knows with a belief within her heart that it's coming. That one word right there. Believe within yourself today, guys. Believe in everything that you're doing. Have an awesome day. We love and appreciate you all.